Chapter Trading Corps and Produce Example of what falls under this chapter Date palms is considered a crop and its dates are considered produce. Trading crops. The Prophet ﷺ said in a meaning of which whoever sells a date palm after it has been pollinated, then its fruits belongs to the seller unless stipulated otherwise by the buyer. This hadith is regarding someone who sells date palm trees, not a piece of land. Therefore, if one sells one date palm trees after they have been pollinated, the fruits they bear belong to the seller, except if the purchaser stipulates the fruits along with the trees, which is better. This is also applies to all other trees which produce ripens, like apples, grapes, because they are similar to the pollinated date palms. Likewise, it applies to produce which is harvested only once when it's ripened. However, if it is harvested more than once, then the tree will go to the buyer and its apparent harvested produce will go to the seller. Trading Produce the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prohibited the sale of produce until their good quality becomes apparent. He forbade it for both the seller and the buyer. Additionally, when asked about its good quality, he said in the meaning of which, until its defect goes away. In another narration, until it becomes red or yellow, meaning until it becomes good for eating. Additionally, he prohibited the sale of grains until they matured in size, narrated by the authors of the Sunan. If grains are sold for fooder, However, then it is not a condition that they mature in size. The Prophet ﷺ said in the meaning of which, if you were to sell to your brother some crops which were then destroyed, then it is not permissible for you to take anything from him. With what right would you take the money of your brother? Narrated by Imam Muslim. Meaning, the seller returns the full price to the buyer, except if the buyer was negligent and took too much time in picking the product at harvest time, in which case he is accountable for his negligence and is owed nothing. As for if the land is sold and it has one trees, if the land is sold and it has trees, then they are considered part of the land and thus belong to the buyer. Two, a crop that is harvested repeatedly the ready harvest at the time the land is sold is for the seller and the land is for the buyer furthermore if the buyer stipulates that the ready harvest is for him then it is valid three a crop that is harvested only once like wheat and barley belongs to the seller until the time of harvest